Matt from Not Studios, and welcome to Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. So, um, I just decided I didn't really have any other games to record, um, at least for this next couple of weeks, so I'm going to do a Dwarf Fortress Adventure playthrough right now. Um, we're probably gonna go out until we die, which might take us an hour, I'm hoping. That'll be a good playthrough. Or maybe it'll even take us longer and then I'll have to divide it into parts. So, you know, let's just see how it goes and let's just play the game. Let's get into it. I already have a pre-generated world region 3 right here. So if you're not familiar with uh, Dwarf Fortress, I just want to quickly explain it while I, I go over the adventure mode here. I just want to quickly explain it. Dwarf Fortress is a indie game. It's very old, I believe, like 2003, even before that. And, um, basically, the base game mode was you command a group of six dwarves outfitted, um, to build a new dwarven city, town, whatever. Um, and basically you have to make those six, six dwarves into a huge city. I mean, you get immigrants, they have children, you can have militaries, everything. I definitely think you should look into this game, and I believe there's a Dwarf Fortress update that is supposed to be coming out pretty soon, and that'll be awesome. I'm interested to see where this goes. So, I'm actually playing on Masterwork Dwarf Fortress, and this game was recommended to me by a few, um, few of my viewers as well, and I think it'll be really good to play, and this game's really awesome to play. So, let's see. We have um, a few races over here on the side. I think I'm going to go with a human and try to get somewhere in the middle area or something. Or maybe, yeah. Alright, we're going to go up there. We're just going to be a hero. A demigod is a little bit too easy, I think. So, let's see. We're going to we're gonna buff up strength right out the get-go. We're going to buff up agility right out the get-go. Buff all this stuff right out the get-go. Um, and bump our endurance up just a little bit more. And put our last five points into social awareness so we can get an extra follower. Um, most of our social awareness, though, will be coming from quests. Essentially, it's every quest you do, you get an extra follower. Um, I want a big party following me around, so that way, you know, I can't get killed by whoever knows. The boogeymen lurking through the night. I don't want to get killed by them. So, let's see. We have our skills over here that we can allocate points into. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to skilled fighter right off the dot. And bump this up to adequate dodger. And we'll have 58 points to spend in whatever weapons we want to specialize in. We're going to be a, um, blade guard. Put the rest of our points into there. We have two spare points. We can't really use that on anything, so we'll, we'll go ahead into the game. So, I haven't really played Adventure Mode in a while. Uh, we're going to enter a custom name, Matt. Matt, Sam, Sam Spike a Tang. Yeah, something like that. Matt Spattered Skins. That's what our name means in English. Matt Spattered Skins. I don't Spattered Skins. I don't Ooh, that doesn't sound too good. You finally got your equipment together, such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you were going to. Perhaps some of your friends here have ideas. Press the question mark for help. Um, we're not going to do that. Okay, so that's just basically the message that gives us. Let's check our inventory to see what we start out with. Ooh, I don't think we start out with any clothes. Okay. Yeah. So this is what we start out with. No clothes. <laughs> uh, we're naked. We have a backpack. And steel weaponry. That's actually pretty decent. So first thing we're going to change is our combat preferences. I want to change this to make it so I'm going to move around as much as possible. I don't want to be standing, um, standing my ground against an enemy that's going to be much... Ooh. Ooh. Are these free? Ooh. Oh, I think these are free. Even if they aren't, I'm going to take them. Ooh, this is good. Alright, so it looks like we actually got some clothes now. Ugh. <laughs> clothes that I've taken from the poor little kitties. Oh, we'll drop the, um... We'll drop the negative ones. Put on those. Grab one of the turbans, put that on too. Um... We'll eventually get armor to replace all this stuff. There's a cloak. 
gloves, gloves. Um, shoe, 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 glove, glove, cloak. Let's see. Anything else that you can wear that's not really going to... Trousers. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of extra food. I don't know if they're going to get mad at us for taking that. But all right. So, let's chat with one of these guys we can chat with. K. Okay. You begin a conversation with the farmer Ika So Sathonic. It is good to see you. Traveling alone in the wilds? You know better than that. Uh, I don't think this guy's going to join us. Yeah, he's not going to join us unless we complete a quest first. A day's travel to the north. All right. So, we've got our first quest. Let's actually see where this is. All right. Right up there. Let's, let's do it. Let's head up there. Here we go. Heading up. Oops. Whoa. Just happened. Halt in the name of putrid flies. Am I already going to be dead? Oh, boy. What's after me? The frick? What? What came after me? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? You must move away from the river before you can travel. What just happened? <laughs> I don't even think we got attacked. Oh, or maybe that's... No, those are animals. Alright. Alrighty then. So I, let me see how I open up the crafting menu again. Let me just press three phones of small creatures. Trying to find the um, crafting. I don't know. We'll find it later. Because I'm pretty sure I can herb lore plants if I, if I need to. If it gets down to that. I think I can just herb lore the plants. Ooh, here's a river. Hmm. Um... We don't have any we don't have any swimming skill, so crossing this river would probably gonna mean our death. But uh that's not gonna stop me. We're drowning. Oh. Oh, we're not drowning! <laughs> Alright, so we made it across the river. Almost killing ourselves in the process. But we made it across. <laughs> oh, 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 we've got a okay. Oh boy, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, we survived again. It's always a little nerve-wracking going into a river when, you, when you're probably going to drown. Yeah. Not exactly the best feeling. Ooh, what do we do these things? What are, what are you? Crazy things? Let's see. What are those? Let's inspect these things. Oh, they're centaurs. Can we get a description? A large creature with the body of a horse and the head of, and torso of a human. She is, a, she is gigantic. Her teeth are widely spaced. Her narrow nose is very sharply hooked. Her sunken dark green eyes have large irises. She has very low cheekbones. Her eyes are closest. Her eyes are close set. Her hair is copper. Her skin is cinnamon. So we've stumbled upon some centaurs. Don't exactly think those are going to do us any good, but uh, let's try to make it over to this fort over here and spend the night there, see if we can't gather up. Ooh, all right. And if you are wondering, this is not the default. Ooh, there's some, there's some, ooh, we've been stunned. All right. You strike the blade foot ranker. And the right hind foot with your steel round shield, bruising the muscle. Alright, so basically, um, if I just use the key on the numpad to where it is, it is, like if I just move, if I try to move on top of it, it will actually just do a random attack wherever I have the best chance of hitting. And it'll just use one of the weapons that are taking up my hands. 
So, um, or we can go into, um, like a more advanced thing with shift plus a then we can select our target and then we'll get this whole list and i mean this is pretty awesome and this is what i love about this you can basically select any body part on them um any body part and attack it um obviously some places are going to be hard to hit some places are going to be easy to hit you can't obviously hit a lot of the parts on here but um we, we have you have some pretty solid shots, but I'm just going to go ahead and back up and make sure these guys aren't in a huge group because I don't want them in a huge group. Let's actually grab some of this peat and actually throw it at them. Ah, oh, I bruised the muscle. All right. I just want to try to wound them just a little. See if I can't do that. Let's throw some more peat at them. Bruises the muscle again. Yeah, muscle bruising isn't really going to do that much. So... There we go. They're all spread out. You stab the blade foot rancor in the left foreleg with your steel longsword, tearing the fat. It attacks us, but we manage to jump away. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attack this. Let's actually select a... We can hit it on the left foreleg. Um, let's stab it. We tore the fat with our steel longsword. Uh, our steel longsword is lodged firmly in the wound. So let's let's actually go in for like a shield bash with our shield while our sword is stuck in there. And it pushes me in the right buttocks. So it pushed me so hard it bruised my fat and my buttocks. He, he's a butt killer. This one is. So let's go in for another stab. Stab in the left forefoot. Tearing the fat again. And our sword is once, once again launched in there. So, um, if your sword gets lodged in... Oh, they're in a martial trance. Or they're really angry. Okay, so if you're... Ooh, that's really good. You run through the blade foot rancor in the right hind leg with the tip of your steel longsword, chipping the bone. A sensory nerve has been se severed, and a tendon has been torn. The blade foot rancor chirps. Sorry, um, I'm kind of starting because I'm recording this very early in the morning. But, um, yeah... These guys are... I think these guys are mad. Uh, let me just... <laughs> raged at all enemies. So yeah, they're pretty mad. So if your weapon gets lodged into them... Um, it has a chance that it'll actually stick in them. And then you'll have to wrestle it out. Which is another thing. You can wrestle them and break every single bone in their body it's it's pretty amazing with this stuff that you can do but uh some animals it won't allow you to and if people are way bigger than you you can't do it so all right let's let's try to get around get another single hit Ooh, let's let's go for this guy over here let's see what do we Ooh, we have a good shot at his lower body and it's a very square target we're gonna go ahead and stab that tears the muscle and it's lodged firmly in the wound uh, we twist the embedded steel longsword around in the blade foot ranker's lower body. We maintain possession of the steel longsword. So let's go ahead and hit him again. You run through the blade foot ranker in the head with the tip of your steel longsword, tearing the muscle. An artery has been opened by the attack. We're opening a lot of nerves and arteries, so we can't land. Um, we can hit him in the left front blade. Let's actually do that. Um, let's, let's instead strike instead of stabbing so it doesn't get stuck in. You strike the blade foot ranker in the left front blade with the pommel of your steel longsword, but the attack glances away, so that's no luck there. Let's go in for another strike. We can hit him in the foreleg. Oh, no, we can't. We can hit him in the left foreleg. Let's go ahead and go in for a stab. Ooh, we managed to chip the bone, and a tendon has been torn. So these guys are going to be easy kills and easy XP for me. Um, let's hit him in the left foreleg again. Let's pommel it. We only bruised the muscle that hit. Let's hit this guy again. Ooh, the upper body. I was going to go ahead and stab that. It tears the muscle and it's lodged firmly in the wound. If you move away from the square that he's in, it will actually pull the sword out. And that's why I keep moving away like that, if you didn't know that. But I'm just going to assume that you guys know how to play this game. Ooh, we have a shot at his head. Let's hope we can get this. Stab it. Ah! We tear the muscle. 
No good. All right, let's get this guy right here. We have a shot at his lower body. Let's stab it. Stabs him in the gut. He looks sick. Stab him in the upper body with her steel longsword. Muscles torn apart. And <laughs> we got pushed in the butt again by the butt massacre. <laughs> and our butt has been bruised. He punches us in the chest and our chest is bruised. Uh, attacks, but we jump away. We manage to dodge its attack. These guys are enraged at us. Enraged at our skill. We're going to go ahead and stab this guy. The four hood again. Tearing apart the fat. We're not getting any major hits here. I think it's gotten one or two major hits. Let's go ahead and for another strike. Lower body. Stab. Tears the muscle. Lower body. Stab. Tears the gut. You slash the blade foot ranker in the right hind leg with the forward edge of your steel longsword, fracturing the bone. An artery has been opened by the attack. Many nerves have been severed, and a tendon has been torn. That's a good hit. Ooh, this guy's trying to run away because he's wounded. You whirl around with outstretched arms and slash the blade foot ranker in the lower body with your horn blade of your steel longsword and the severed part sails off in an arc and he's down and the other two are left oh i actually found out the, the the key now okay so if you hit x it opens up a crafting menu you can butcher this um i'm not gonna be butchering it right now since i'm in the middle of combat but anyways let's get back to the combat sorry for getting so sidetracked Ooh, keeps attacking us we jump away want to get these guys spread out again Ooh, we've got a shot at his upper body. Stab it. Tears the muscle. We hit it in the head, only bruising the muscle. We've got to get a major hit. Ooh, we chip the bone in his right foreleg. A tendon has been torn, and our sword is lodged firmly in the wound. We step back and pull the sword slowly out of his body as blood gushes out everywhere. I um, mean, you see this blood here? We can actually pick that up and drink it um, if we get thirsty. And if we're a vampire, we can also do that. Oh, it pushes me in the groin. That's gonna hurt. Why are you pushing me in the butt in the groin? I don't understand you. We stab it in the left hind leg, fracturing the bone. Many nerves have been severed. Tender has been torn. We're gonna go ahead and stab this guy, finish him off. Oh. We go in for the glorious slash at his lower body and cut him straight in half. His body half, his bottom half, sails off in an arc, his guts spilling out all over the place. So let's finish off this guy. Um, stab him in the upper body. Oh, we punched him. <laughs> Why did we do that? Did we lose our sword? No, we didn't. Okay. Let's go in for another hit. We bite him this time. We latch on firmly. Oh, he breaks the grip of our teeth. Um, we slash at him. Managed to fracture his bone and torn a tendon. Let's hit him again. You'd sidestep and slash the blade foot riker in the left forefoot with the forward edge of your steel longsword, tearing apart the muscle. An artery has been opened by the attack and a motor nerve has been severed. It, it counterattacks, but we managed to jump away. Oh, it's attacking us. We're jumping away. Hit it. Tears the muscle. Hit it again. We slash it, and its whole left forefoot sails off in an arc. But this one's determined not to fall to us. Ooh, we have a shot at his lower body. Let's actually strike that. Oh, it only bruises the muscle. We stab it in the left hind leg. And that also sails off. So this guy has basically no left legs at all. Um, he's pretty much screwed. He, yeah, he's good. He's gone now. He's bled to death. All right, so let's actually, can, can we help butcher this? Oh, we can butcher it. All right. Let's actually, um, take four of that meat. And let's grab some of this blood. Oh, it's a pound of blood. So, back to our, our task at hand. Let's, let's. Let's go into the fort after murdering the, the crazies outside. Let's see if that how much skill that gave us. Oh, our buttocks and everything is all bruised. <laughs> um, we're dabbling butcher now. 
We're an adequate dodger. Uh, Alright, it, it gave us some XP. Um, I can't say that it wasn't worth it. Because it definitely was, but... Let's go ahead and get into this fort, shall we? So yeah, I'm definitely going to make this into an adventure series if you guys like it enough. If people watch it, I'll definitely make it into a series. So let's see. Here are the doors. So I want to see if we can actually um, recruit anyone. Ooh, here. Ooh, it's a dwarf. This is a dwarf fort. Awesome. Talk to this guy. What do you want, human? I'm, are you wanting to join us? Oh, we have glorious, glorious dwarves to join us on our adventures. So now we have uh, Earth Crazed Deuce. Crazy Stoos. What? Your name is weird. Um, is now in our party. So let's, let's go ahead and look at this guy. Oh, she, it's a girl. <laughs> Sorry. He's got, he's got, she's got a hammer and a round shield and a bronze breastplate. Not, not really too well equipped. But, uh, yeah, it's someone to follow us around. Ooh, we've got two other guys over here. Let's see if we can recruit them. One's a spear dwarf. Let's go ahead and talk to you. You, you want to join us? Ooh, he wants to join us. And the mace dwarf. Let's see if you... All right, we got all three. Okay. So I'm actually just going to... Sleep until dawn. And this will bring us into the next day. And then we go ahead and wait for another hour. Just, just until we get that late back. And let's take our newly formed group and head out to finish our, our daring quest. There's other guys here that we can hire, but I don't want my party getting much bigger. Because the bigger your party gets um, and you get randomly attacked by bandits, the bigger their parties are going to get. <laughs> and it can turn into like a huge 20v20. Those get pretty gruesome. Let's continue on our journey, Nerf. Yeah, Jor <laughs> Wow, I am certainly wording stuff weirdly today. Let's continue our journey north. Journey, journey north. Gosh darn it. Ooh, there's a there's a lake coming our way. We have to find a way around this. Oh boy, this is bad. Um, well, we have companions now, so we can sleep out in the open or out in forests, really. Without Boogeyman attacking us. That's also another thing if you didn't know it about this game. I bet you probably do. But um, if you're not sleeping with a party. Or resting with a party. Out in the wild. Then um, you get attacked by Boogeyman. I mean they, they are pretty difficult to attack. And they have a very high dodging skill. So you're probably not going to take them out by yourself. Unless you're master at everything. So, here we are, with our little ragtag group of dwarves. Let's go to the southeast and take out these bandits. Ooh, what just happened there? What just happened there? Oh, one of our guys has been shot. Ooh, let me actually... Yeah, one of our guys has been shot. Let me change the uh, text thing there, because it does glitch out a little bit. Ooh, what just happened again? Oh, we got shot again, this time by a javelin. The Imperial Rifle Guard stands before you. So they have guns. <laughs> I mean, we have no ranged. I am... You spend memory quake. You will suffer and you will all suffer. You just said you would suffer. Why are you saying it twice? The dwarf yells, How did you guys even figure out how to make steel? A disgrace. The human yells back, Don't try to run away. Um, it hits us in the thumb of the left hand, and it bruises us. Uh, and it shatters our nail. I'm pretty angry now. This guy shattered my nail. I'm gonna go ahead and stab you in the torso, buddy. Oh. Why don't I have my sword? I'm gonna go ahead and strike you then. Ooh, my sword's back here. So all this stuff is happening. Um, our mercenary dwarf is beating up the rifle guard. That's good. 
Um, the Spear Dwarf is also beating up the Imperial Rifle Guard. <laughs> oh, but this guy's beating me up. This guy's beating me up pretty bad. Um, we've got to get him away. Oh! We attempt to hit him with our shield, but it's no use. Uh, the Haymaker hits me in the right thigh with her steel warhammer bruising the muscle. Um, the dwarf spear, the spear dwarf is twisting it around. Um, the mace dwarf whirls around. So what happens here? The hammer guard strikes me again, but I block him. The hammer guard throws haymaker at you. Throws a haymaker. What? What is a haymaker? At you in the head with her steel war hammer, bruising the muscle. Jamming the skull through the outer brain, tearing apart the outer brain, and bruising the brain. You feel sick, and then we pretty much get struck down right there. The steel warhammer is lodged right in our head. That's pretty much game over. Um, so yeah, this is just a taste of Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for dying so badly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to definitely revisit it and become more prepared next time and yeah get a better loadout so huh that's what happens when i try to play dwarf fortress adventure mode or maybe i'll even do a fortress mode so um yeah within the next few weeks i'm going to be getting bandy cam um and bandy cam is a better program way better program to use than fraps and it doesn't make as huge video files as fraps so, um, that'll be definitely good to record with. And, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, um, leave me a comment, leave me a like, tell me that you like it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This is Matt for Not Studios. Signing out. Bye-bye.